So I just finished leading up this mock ice pitch right here, and I found a good chunk of ice, and I wanna show you guys how to build an ice anchor. Now, uh, there's a few differences between building ice anchors and like sport anchors. For one, like sport anchors, you have bolts. But um, ice anchors, in my mind at least, they kind of are pretty similar to sport anchors. Uh, there's just a few differences, but the main one is definitely the medium that you're on, which is ice. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my longest screw. This could be a 19, or in this case, it's a 21. And um, it's really nice at this stance, which like I'm just standing on the ground here, but sometimes at these uh, belay stations, you actually get enough of a stance to go hands-free and be able to work the screw in with both your hands. Uh, there's usually not a lot of holding onto the tool while you're trying to set your ice screw. But um, anyway, so with that in mind, I'm going to try to work up high. I'm gonna try to put my screws up a little bit higher than you normally would while placing them because if I put my screws up high and my master point's down here, and then I can just clip off to it and belay up my friend. So I'm going to, I'm gonna try to find good ice. You can even take your ax and like chop around if it's a little chundery up top. But I'm gonna look, I got some good ice here. I'll set that first screw. Of course, 21s take like forever to go in. All right, so I set my first screw. Uh, if I was at like a more precarious stance, then I could clip myself to it right away. But in this case, the scenario we're in is I topped out and I had to walk a little ways to get to this chunk of ice. So I'm pretty solid right here. Next thing I'm gonna do is take my second screw and um, either I can go with another 21, a 19, or sometimes I even use a 16. But in this case, since I have a 19, just another longer screw. And then this is the big deal with making ice anchors, is you wanna have some diagonal offset in your screws. If I put them both in unilaterally, horizontally like this, then the ice could possibly fracture horizontally like it tends to do. We really hedge our bets by putting them in diagonally from each other. And so I'm gonna go in So there you go, that screws in, this screws in. Uh, both of them felt really good going in. And so in ice climbing, with, if you have good ice, good screws, it is perfectly acceptable to use two ice screws in your anchor. If one of these screws was more suspect or anything else like that, um, or maybe if I was a little more nervous, uh, I could always add a third screw into my anchor. And then the deal with that is same as before, you don't wanna put it vertically or horizontally aligned with any of these screws. Another diagonal offset off to the side like so would work just fine. In this case, both these ice screws are really good. And so now I'm gonna pull out my anchor material. In this case, I'm going to use a double length sling, which is actually a pretty nice anchor to make in ice climbing. And just clip one to each of my carabiners. Isolate the direction of pull into a knot. And I could close fish myself in here, belay my friend up off the shelf if I wanted to. I can do whatever. And uh, this is a very common anchor. People use it all the time. There's really nothing wrong with it. So more often nowadays, I'm using like a triple or a quad length sling. And I'm going to clip that into my two ice screws. And then since, you know, ice climbing is kind of like we usually wear gloves. It can be hard to deal with knots. It can be hard to tie them, untie them. Uh, you already have a bunch of stuff you gotta put on your harness after uh, your friend has you on belay up above. So a new anchor that people are starting to use and I've started using in my ice climbing is the girth hitch anchor with a master locker. And so what I'm gonna do is I have my direction to pull again. You see the nice V. Uh, if you put this stuff down through the locker Make sure you get all the strands and then bring it up the front. And then you have a girth hitch right here with all four strands or so. And then it's also really adjustable. So I can pull this up and I can move it this way or that way, whatever my direction of pull is. And notice how for this demonstration, I'm using a triple action locker on this master point. Um, I per it's like within my comfort level and I know a lot of people, other professionals prefer using triple action lockers 
for a critical point like a master point. And uh, I fully agree with that. So I try to put triple action lockers on all my master points if I can. Some folks may not like this right now, but there is testing out there. It's perfectly, it's fully redundant. Um, and it's an acceptable anchor. You see it a lot more in Europe, but I think uh, it's catching on in the US. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you want to see more videos, then let me know, and I'll see you in the next one.